All right, Five Nights Sour Defense has just updated. There's no exclusive unit there, but they added the Wild West. It's kind of an American thing here. Exclusive end game pack. You get the uh, exclusive bounty mangle for a thousand Robux or a hundred thousand Western coins. Western coins by reading the Western map here. And I have a starter pack for 400 Robux or 30,000 Western tokens. So we're gonna hop into a match and I'll see you guys on day one of this here. Alright, we're in day one. You can see the Sheriff's badge. And we got the Play Wild West achievement. We don't have enough for a purple guy yet, but this is easy mode here. We have Deserted Freddy's. I would like to auto skip on so I can get Purple Guy out as soon as possible. There we go. Purple Guy is now out. It is easy so far. He's just one tapping them. Is there going to be a harder enemy to beat? We have Deserted Foxies. 500 health, which is quite a step up. It'd be quite difficult for a brand new player. Alright, now we're gonna one shot them since we got the damage upgrade for the purple guys. Sorry, Freddy's. Purple guy's range for me is just larger than the charge's range. It's like he's throwing them wrenches here. We're just spawn camping them most most likely. The boss is probably gonna be like very weak since these are like weak enemies. There's a, a lot of deserted Freddies and a mix of deserted foxies. We have a we have a train that does not move. It already supposed to like bandits or like zombies. We have deserted chicas now. They're weaker than the deserted foxies apparently. Are they supposed to be like infected? Cause that's what it's like mostly in this game. Alright, we maxed them all out. And it's wave 12 out of 15. This is cool so far. Still more deserted foxies. What's the next guy gonna be here? If there's gonna be one. We're still having more deserted Freddy's, foxies, and Jika's. Isn't there supposed to be deserted Bonnie? Because that would make the, the gang here. Probably later in the night since probably like later in the in the game here. I'm gonna put a circuit breaker because why not? You just do good damage. Alright, final wave for this. Dead eye Freddy, do I have boss with yeah, he does not have he's fifty thousand health. They have like the purple guys because we would not make it at all. First completion, we got a hundred extra tokens. Now we're moving on to day two and see what it's gonna be like in easy mode. Here we are at day two. Now there's like two entrances where they can come out. You're spamming some guys here. Not quite cool. Alright, I need to skip so I don't take too much damage. There. Alright. Another purple guy down. And the final purple guy is here. Yeah, we're gonna be good for this. I'm just gonna go skip over to when I see a new enemy or the boss approaches at wave 15. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, we have Dust Bowl Chica now. There's no new bosses. And the health system 
I feel like it's just like not right so it was 50k for this like the previous one was 50k as well so this is pretty much game it's pretty much like day two of this I'm gonna see you guys in game three in a moment we are now going into day three now we have three exits and we start off with 500 again I feel now we deserted Freddy's are just 75 health yeah this is a little buggy I think or incorrect this is incorrect I'm pretty sure cuz the health system does not really make much sense at all we really got our purple guys down now we can do good damage so if you did not get purple guy or any good starter you then you're most likely cooked for this first part of the game because you get a small amount of money every time and the, the enemies are quite tanky now the, now the deserted Freddy's are at 100 health again when they were originally at 75 that was probably intended because it would make sense in my opinion and now we have level 4 purple guys Level 5 is soon. And this is quite spammy here. A lot of spamming of the units here. These are foxes do have big weapons. It's hard to tell since they keep moving. But it is some kind of knife or sword. And they're similar to to game one. But this is still a good event. Better than Toilet Tower Defense's pencil update, in my opinion. Because it's a cool looking area here. While well, in the toilet tower defense, it's just it's just like weird gen alpha stuff. And it looks a little plain. But this here you can see there's lots of detail. And they put a lot of effort into this. We're still going to have deserted Freddy's. A big spam of them. If it was from the other side, it would have been much harder. They all came out at the same time. But I feel like the devs need to fix something because health systems, they're just, they don't feel right to me. Either this is intended or not. Because 250 for deserted chicas and 500 for deserted foxies. And game one, deserted foxies came first. So I don't even know what. So I don't even know if it's intended or not. But we're going to see the boss very soon, so I'm just going to keep commentating through this. But we, there's another train here still. They use the same t kind of train. But it's going in a different direction. It's like we're using this train, maybe. Depending on how you think of it. And we do not get a lot of money here. Which can be quite a problem for some people since... They don't have really good starters. So, we're gonna see what the boss is very soon. But, we're still dealing with a lot of spamming of the units. Which is like game one in the main game. Similar to game two as well, but they're tankier. We're going to go see more. We're see some more of these enemies here. As we keep going through the three entrances. So far this is easy. I could deal, deal with it quite easily since this is easy mode. It's supposed to be for like the new players. But I wonder what it would be like if it was nightmare mode. These are advice would have like 500 health. My purple guys can't one-shot them yet. Well, we're just gonna upgrade them since I did not max them out yet. So they have farther reach and they have the other turret for extra DPS. So purple guy, he's gone. No more can be bought. So you... And there's like no new exclusive unit, which means I could just use my coins. Or other things. But I'm just gonna be grinding this here because I would like more units. 
still more deserted chicas. Sort of fights coming from behind, which sounds kind of weird. If you're that kind of person. We're almost there, just two more waves. But these waves, they're quite long, it feels like. Since there's so many enemies that are spammed out. I'm pretty sure the first event that I did was the summer event, which was like not long ago. And my units, they were just terrible. But we have, wave 15, we have deserted puppets. And they're just flying with a thousand health. So, not too many of them were dealt with, which is okay. But we have deserted endos now. They're just including more stuff. What, what do they have with them, it looks like? More deserted puppets on that side, as well as deserted chicas. More deserted endos. And these, these are like cool skins here. These really fit with me. Another 50,000 health. Cartel Foxy. And there's like no voice lines for them. And they're using the game one assets. For the bosses. But how come they're tanky? This makes no sense. 50,000 health for all of them. Yeah, that does not make much sense. But we beat in it. We got 100 extra tokens. Let's go ahead and see what game 4 would be like. Here we are at day 4 out of 5. 3 exits still, but it's mixed up. And $500 still. Man. I feel like the devs have us fixed this somehow. Now we have deserted Freddy's going to the base because they're like literally right there. And uh, 1 million far, how much damage do they do? They do 20. Good thing I. Good thing is, they did not. How too many of them went through because. I would probably been done for. Well, we're gonna get some of the purple guys here, and now we're just good. Twenty damage for the Freddies. They really have to fix something, cause this makes no sense. We have level three purple guys. It's good. So far there's nothing new yet, it's only the Freddy's and Foxy's. I'll see you guys when there's a new enemy, or or the boss comes out, because it's one of those two, more likely. So I'll see you guys very soon. Here comes the boss, and it's Marshall Mang. Eh, 50,000 health again. Why are these bosses just having 50,000 health? It's like a lot. And like, beginners can't even get past day one. It's like supposed to be like a couple thousand. But we got the G Howboy guess, which is cool. And now we're gonna go move on to day five and see what it's gonna be like and if there's gonna be new enemies. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Here we are, the final day. Of the oil double double western XP, and we're starting off with deserted puppets. Yeah, we need to skip this very fast. I hope they don't deal like 50 damage each time. But our purple guy is able to handle them easily, and they do 20 damage, which is okay. I feel like they just want to spam tough enemies, but they're not that tough. But good thing I have a purple guy, he does good to EPS. Which is really helping me out here, because I would have been dead already. But there's like an oil rig. It's an oil rig, DPS. I'm pretty, sh pretty sure that's like a random event. Gives you like double XP for things, or it just happened out of nowhere. I don't really know. You guys can tell me this if this happened to you, because... We're on the final day. And it looks like this is a cooldown. There's like nothing hard to do other than this deserted foxy spam. Which is not cool. 
because since I don't have slash damage or AOE on these guys, but they're still easy. Now I have a few deserted puppets. It's, this is so easy. Do the devs just like forget to do something or something? Or is this just like intended? That's a question I'm still having up to this moment. <laughs> just a spam of deserted Freddy's. But still easy so far. Although it did start off with like the tankiest guys, which is like 1000 health. This is the earliest recording. This is a, when the game just came. This is when the Western update just came out. Most likely, or it's just like a few minutes later. So I'm recording this for you guys because this is my first Five Nights Tower Defense content. And I knew I had to like do something. So I might be able to post this like the day after I recorded this if you got to this point. But we're on wave 10. It's still easy. I don't get it. I still don't get why it's like this. They're still like destroying these guys here. Deserted endos. Not many of them. Which means they're not much of a threat. We're just having some circuit breakers if the boss comes from here. If, you can't, if the boss comes through here, then the purple guys can just handle them for 50,000 health. Well, at least that's my guess for what might happen. Wave 14. So yeah, if you don't have purple guy, then you're most likely destro getting destroyed, like I said earlier, or just get a good starter unit like Patriot Freddy or Witch Toy Chica. Although I don't have them myself, it's just, it's just like, I did see it from other Five Nights Tower Defense content creators. Circuit Breaker Freddy is the easiest nightmare to get in my opinion. Now we have Redemption Endo. 50,000 health, like I said. That's a similar animation to the Game 3 Night 1 boss, kind of here, Endo. And he just got destroyed by the Circuit Breakers. So, yeah, that's base. So, that's like it. So, we're gonna see you guys in the lobby and open these cowboy gifts and see what I would get. Alright, here I am. Here's the Western Pass. We're getting free souls and Western Presence. And we, we could get a Wooligan Bonnie, so that's the Bonnie unit there, but it looks like Toy Bonnie in my opinion. But we do have a thousand of these. For the free route, it's going to be Slick Bonnie at the end, and Gunslinger Endo at the end there. But we do have some of these, we have to open three of them to see what we got Cowboy Freddy and two Astro Puppets. So let's see their DPS and what they do. So Cowboy Freddy, he does 200 damage every second at the last level, 100 damage. So it's not very helpful. But what about the puppet? It's a support unit. Well that's like, cool. So I did not get many good things here, but I did do the event. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this, kind of like a speedrun here. Anyway, goodbye.